Okay, moving on, cranial nerve number 10. Cranial nerve number 10 also comes, leads through the jugular foramen, jugular foramen, cranial nerve vagus. Vagus is the wandering nerve, the wandering nerve, okay? So what I say to my students when we're teaching them is it's always wandering about food, okay? So it follows very closely to the root of the alimentary tract. So the minute it disappears out of the brain, it's straight away looking. Where can I go to the tuck shop? Okay? As it's wandering about, meandering, is what its name says, it's looking for food. So first stop, oh, look, there's food coming in through this way. I'll just pop into the pharynx and get a quick fill. And then he heads down, and he follows the line of the esophagus through the posterior mediastinum, following the line of the esophagus, sends out his branches to the heart, some branches go off to the lungs, pulmonary and cardiac plexuses, continues following the line of food. He goes through the diaphragm, along at the esophageal hiatus, following the line of food. And then suddenly, he's through to the land of milk and honey. Everywhere he looks, there's food. If he turns left, if he turns right, there's food everywhere. And he goes a bit mad when he gets down into the abdomen. And that's vagus nerve going absolutely everywhere and joining on to the enteric nervous system, which belongs to the guts. And um, it contributes with a cranial component to this autonomic nervous system which is an automatically self-governing nervous system of the enteric nervous system in your guts but we'll um, as you've already heard from Sean explain the different types of nervous system available that just ties in quite nicely